Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I want to show you three different ways how to prepare champedak. If you don't know what champedak is, champedak is the smaller and much sweeter and much more aromatic cousin of the jackfruit. It's in the Artocarpus genus in the Moraceae family. When it's ripe, you eat it just like jackfruit, you eat the arils and throw away everything else. However, it's even more important in traditional um, equatorial Southeast Asian cuisine um, to use the unripe and also the overripe one. Here I am with my host from the Bidayu people in Borneo and every evening they prepare me such crazy traditional Borneo dishes which I've never found anywhere else, never found in any restaurant or food stall around here. Here they have made three different dishes from Champedak. In, in many in many Southeast Asian restaurants, you will find um, you will find a curry made from jackfruit. This is basically the same principle. The unripe fruit does not have too much flavor, and that's why it can absorb pretty much every flavor you cook it with. It's fibrous; it adds a lot of bulk to your dish, and it adds fibers which feel more or less like meat. So nowadays a lot of vegans use it as a substitute for meat. So today we harvested some unripe champedaks. This is unripe champedak in coconut milk. That's why it's such a milky soup. This is unripe champedak without coconut milk. And here I took one champedak. I could have used the perfectly ripe one. I used the slightly overripe one where the where the fruit uh, where the areas were not so tasty anymore. And here, they just boiled the seeds of the ripe or overripe champerek. The good thing is when you find the jackfruit or champerek or some other atocarpus in the jungle, and it's already rotten and you, and you cannot eat the flesh anymore, you can still save the seeds. Let's try those three recipes. Mm. The champerek seeds taste like chestnuts. Mmm, really nice like boiled chestnuts, very tasty. Mm. Now, the boiled unripe champagne without coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Nice, but pretty blunt. I think they did not put many things here except for a bit of salt. And now, the champedak in coconut milk. Mm. This is much richer. You can totally taste the coconut milk. Did you make the coconut milk here at home or buy? Buy inside the package. Mm. And so this one was put inside the package, but last week they showed me how to make coconut milk the traditional way. And now, even on a tropical beach, I can always have some coconut milk when I need some. So yeah, I must say, extremely tasty. This, um, those boiled seeds. This one here without the coconut milk and without too many spices a bit tasteless because the unripe champerak itself doesn't have almost any taste. Just the opposite with the ripe one. It's just an explosion of sweetness and taste. And this one with the coconut milk, very tasty. You can totally taste the champerak and you can totally taste the coconut milk. Ah, and here they give me some... Ah, some red palm sugar with which you are supposed to eat the champerak seeds. So let's do this. How do I do this exactly? Okay, I have to peel this one. It's, it's not peeled yet. And then, seems I press it on the red palm sugar. Oh, okay. Mm. Nope. Very nice. You make this palm sugar yourself? No. Also buy. 
but at least last week we cut down a whole sugar palm and ate the whole heart of palm. So folks, those are three different ways to prepare champedak, which you would normally consider non-edible. When an unripe fruit falls from the tree, usually a westerner would consider it unedible. Uh-huh. And the fruit which is already too old and half rotten, a westerner would also consider it unedible. But the people here in Borneo are able to make extremely delicious dishes out of them. Shout out to the great Bidayu people here in Pichin village who make all those tasty recipes. And of course, folks, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.